Yes. It is us. Here we are again. Here I am. Minus one. Mr. T. Berger is not with us this evening, although he shall return at some point in the not-too-distant future. I believe it is a daughter event event of some sort. What with this school year coming to an end and all, I believe there are people who are having many things to do with the childrens who are exiting the high school phase of their life, including my son. He is going to have his Eagle Court of Honor on Saturday. Uh Uh-huh. Where's that going to be? It will be at Hawthorne Glen, which is the place where he did his Eagle Project. Okay. Just off State Street. It's a nice little place. It's like at the bottom of the bluff, the bluff that goes along behind Wauwatosa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, because I thought their their headquarters uh, was right across the street from where we drop in for the sewer tour. Right. I yep. think that was it. Yep. Or it, it was. That Somewhere was over there. But yeah, that would be Scouting USA now, not Boy Scouts of America anymore. Yeah. 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 I, just, thing. I just keep bringing up the last Boy Scout thing with him. I go, you got to watch that movie. <laughs> <laughs> you are the last Boy Scout because everyone else will now only be a scout. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. well, yeah, that was like a professor had uh, retired. And he wants to have emeritus status, Professor Emeritus. Meaning? For being, professor you, forever? Eh, yeah, well, retired. That you were retiring with the oh, rank that, that you had. Emeritus. But emeritus is the masculine. Emerita is the feminine in El Latin. Here we're educating again. Yes. J- um, JK had some of the Latin in the classical yeah, civilization. Exactly. So... In terms of sensitivity for pronouns and yada, 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 it has also bled into (laughs) titles in Latin. So they want to just go with emirate. And he was like, hell no. I want, I earned it. I want it. Give it to me. And they gave it to him. But you must put your foot down. An unnecessary battle in in academia. That's what you're all graduating to. Yeah. Then you'll be in my arena. (laughs) Fortunately, not everybody goes into academia. Good on you. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do we got on here today? Here's something interesting coming up, and I'm trying to figure out exactly what it is because it's a rollout. Yep. Uh, it is Bayview Gallery Night rollout. Yep. May 31st. Yes, yes. Good coming time. up over there at the Rushmore Records store. I, I know I've been to Gallery Night. I just... Walked. I don't remember it, there being a rollout during that. Is, has there yeah. been one in the past? Mm-hmm. Okay, there's been a couple. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I know. Like well, Zito was involved heavy on the first ones that I remember. Yeah, I think, I think South Shore like, Cyclery is also yeah, involved. They're the big organizer at this point. Is this a Billy led one? It's not a Billy led one. Okay, it's a Billy good. Okay, Billy hosted one. Hosted. Yes. Gotcha. They, yeah, they have like a mini little block party. Their um, raffle. Uh, I kind of do like, remember yeah. this a little you go, bit. You go scavenger hunt for right, 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 right. Two okay. and a half hours, and then you meet back, and then you you get for how many stops? You get so many tickets, and then you right, meet, right. might win okay. some art. You might win some cool stuff, but you mm. get to go make art or play in art and see art and investigate Bayview. Yes, I'm feeling you because it was. I remember going to Hyde House and stuff for yeah. Well, I, yeah. That, I I volunteered and. Uh, helped at one of those stops and which is fun it's fun to do i might again i don't know i haven't really haven't thought. been haven't been asked yet have you <clears throat> yeah yeah <laughs> it might be a, a thing a, you said a up. passive yeah a, pa- anyway. a, a passive line was cast in my direction may 31st uh would, would do be, it would be the day and it's a you know it's a bayview thing and uh yeah yeah have some fun with that yeah it's a good time all right i'll be in there i'll be there in some way shape or form i'm sure Sounds good. Either participating, volunteering, or you heckling get, and jeering. Do you get up towards uh, Clutch Park very often? No, I don't. Not as much as I maybe. Well, oh, here's oh, something that's we, coming up. The, right? um, uh, the yeah, Tour to Towner, most likely. Tour to Towner. And there's a William ride coming up, too. Birthday ride. Oh, okay. Bill, Bill Hart's ride, I believe. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so one one thing we could do during Tour to Towner, because we always basically go through Clutch Park anyway to go mm-hmm. to the waterfall, coming down Green Tree Road just before the waterfall, there's a new mile-and-a-half-long 
a pretty well done mountain bike trail. Oh yeah, yeah on yeah. the west side of the road. They they had had stuff near the river on the east side of the road, but this is kind of where that big hill is. Okay, where the uh, archery range is. Oh yeah, that yeah, type yeah, yeah. of stuff. Yeah, it's in between basically Green Bay Road and the road that goes through Clutch Park. Oh, right on. There, I will. I'll have a map in the pictures. show notes. I've seen yeah. pictures of the mapping and. I think that I, the, think I think that the work has finally been completed and just it's haven't put the whole semi open together. even though it's been rainy and kind of grim weather wise the last couple of weeks enough for it to not dry out too much but uh, that might be something to check out I got a map in the show notes if you want to see what that's all about is that what that link is that's what the blue things are the blue things now that's not I don't have a link there all I just right. got I'm gonna put a picture in all I got right, the picture then. all right all right all right I just thought it was yeah. I don't know. I was prepared. I might have some links. I might have some links in here later, but they're not in there now. Right on, right on. That was Marky Mark's birthday last week. Oh, right on. We went up to uh, this place called Mike's in Campbellsport. <laughs> it's like an hour away for a steak sandwich because, oh, he wanted a steak sandwich. A Bloody Mary, a steak sandwich, and a steak sandwich. And it's another steak sandwich. Yeah. Steak sandwich in a glass. Uh, but the guy that owns it, Mike, oddly <laughs> enough, <laughs> because it oh, just shit. called Whoa. Mike's. Hey, it could have been. He's the guy that cooks your food. Well, at least it's a he. It could be a she. I know, Mike. That's a lady. But well, anyway. Well, we have it. Um, he's the guy that's cooking your big fat slab of steak, <laughs> ribeye on a... I, the bun is, you know, not a bad size it's a bun, but then the steak, like, hangs over the edges a lot. Anyway, he well, was... Well, like a sandwich. No, I, you cut the edges off first. Then you... Yes. This is where it's acceptable yes. for the knife and fork. Oh, Same thing at Pitches. Would not have been able to do it without a knife and fork. Pitches has a pretty damn good steak sandwich, but it doesn't look like a steak sandwich. It's like deconstructed almost, and then you just get in it and think, oh, it's just a steak with a bit of bread on the side. There. Yeah. Yeah. So the guy that owns it, Mike again. Mike. <laughs> good, strong Christian name, I tell you. Right. Uh, was, Archangel. Knocked out, knocked Lucifer down. Well, he's a former BMX racer from the Sheboygan area back in the olden times. And he's had some pretty cool memorabilia popping up inside the bar restaurant area. Okay. Uh, a very cool GTBMX sign, which I did take a picture of and will also be in the show notes okay. if you want to view that. Plus he had all the old radio stations you'd want to hear from Milwaukee. <laughs> WLPX, WZMF, QFM. I mean, it just it was like, yeah, I'm going back to the okay. 80s and that's the place I'm going to do it. I was. I remember being so disappointed <clears throat> the morning that LPX switched to B ninety seven. Was that ninety seven point five? Yeah. WLPX. Yeah. WLPX. I think I was working at the Firelight Inn, my only restaurant job in I my was entire career of working. I was so confused because I'm looking at the radio in my mom's car, and I'm like, "This should be." Oh, it those, should be LPX. Like the big format change <laughs> happens overnight and you don't even notice no, it. No. They have not announced it. None. None. Oh, and they don't. They don't. I've been audience of that. I've been participant in that. I've been where participatory. You're bitten, where you're like sworn to secrecy. You, I mean, like very mellow NDA agreement kind of things. Please do not make this known to people. Are you going to go for that again? Yeah. Might, as, might as well while you're pulling one of them out, pull one out for me too. We'll uh, we'll do the top of the hill thing, I guess. After the pre initial, initial shock, <laughs> the initial pre beer beer of the same beer, this Cactus Coast Mexican style lager from I wouldn't say they're friends because I don't really go there that often, but Mobcraft, which is right next to a place I do go a lot, which is called Conejitos. And I get margaritos in there <laughs> and maybe a burrito. And you go uh, crawling off on your neat toes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much getting, <laughs> getting kneecapped in that place. Yep. But um, anyway, Mobcraft is a local brewery down there. Yeah. Uh, what did you call that? Walker's Point Way. Yeah. If you're yeah, a Milwaukee sorry. resident, you'll know where that is. Right by the Great Lakes Distillery in that little... Fifth Street Zone. So I don't. At the first swallow didn't make me super happy, no, but I after the first beer, it's you know. I don't know. Yeah, it dulls the senses enough. I think I don't know. Turning. It's okay. I mean, <laughs> so there. All right. So, I, I mean, I don't want to be a. So there. I don't know who writes it. their taglines. Turning ideas into beer. Well, they they do. I've noticed that on many. I think they have a very heavy rotation. <laughs> Like, we just make something up like uh, 
MikeCableBeer.com or we're going to make oh, a beer well, now? Is that kind of, yeah, I think so. I mean, I could be terribly wrong on this one, but it always seems like they have a lot of space and capability for people to, you know, brew their ideas. Oh, okay. What you have, yeah. Can I just go in there with my own idea and do it? Well, yeah, I'm sure you have to have, like, their whatever. Their blessing in disguise? Yeah, the I can Northern the- Brewer, you know, frequent buyer card or some shit like that. I don't know. I'm sure there is some sort of vetting process. But- as often as we go to Amorphic next door, I think we should be offered the opportunity to at least have our name on one of their beers. Oh, shit. <laughs> like the full spectrum cycling ale or... I don't know whatever their whatever their uh, coffee beer is right now. I'm kind of happy with that one. Oh, it was, yeah. I mean, I know you and Tony are going. Why? Not probably after the show, since I'll probably stop over there in 38 minutes from now. <laughs> no, 28. 20. No, 18. 18 minutes from Jeez. now. I. Well, Whoa. Time does fly when we're having fun. Well, maybe there is something to the spear. <laughs> <laughs> what is that little piece of paper you're in making, there? You're making me math. <laughs> Jeepers. It's not math. It is summer break, more or less. Yeah, you're pretty much off for the year now, huh? Or for the summer. Well, I'm off with... In that there's nobody bothering you at the campus. Yeah, exactly. Except the few that will remain will be more emboldened to ask me of questions and projects. Be- mm. Knowing that I won't be distracted by so many others. It's those, the rub. But those clever job, people. Job security, I guess. You remember Jay Bird, yeah? Uh, that was he, formerly a resident of our building. Was he at the uh, show over at Amorphic? I don't think you, so. Maybe. I think. I might have been. Maybe. That, that was like a wedding. I, I got real like, <laughs> there was so much going I on. Was, I got right in the pocket, man. And yeah. I don't know, I just blacked out. Yeah, he, he may have. Um, so... Jay Bird, he used to be a resident of this building, uh, artist guy, does the stuff on the side of Sunrise. I ran into him on his birthday at uh, Uptowner, and he was relating a story that he's related before about a, a 1981 Huffy, uh, what the heck, the Pro Thunder that he got when he was a kid. And it got stolen like very quickly after he got it, and he wants to recreate one as a fat bike. Why, that's why that sounded familiar. All right, I think. yeah. I think I'll have a picture of that page. I asked him because the story is is pretty yeah. good too. He does. He's a very good illustrator and and that type of thing. So uh, hey, I got to push a button here. It's a good thing we turned on the call in studio call in studio call in line. Call in line. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. All that thing. I'm making you English too. Yeah. Hey, welcome to the radio program, caller. Who do we have on the line? Hello. It's- Big, sexy, and do I have a story for you? Well, that's why we're here and why we're listening to you right now, because we just about ran out of stuff to talk about. Well, not really, but you go ahead with your story. You you ran out of stuff to talk about? I don't buy it. (laughs) (laughs) Go ahead. Share with us your story. So, well, so the last time I talked to you, I was in Mandeville. Louisiana, and I was uh, uh, Izzy. Izzy is about to take her uh, maiden voyage. We recall. And, I recall uh, that. M- yeah, we got we got we got across Mississippi. We got we got on the boat from Dolphin Island, and we got the we got the Pensacola in record timing. If I, if, I mean, I don't know. I, I I can't go back and do the math. I don't know. No but I'm um, pretty sure we got we got the Pensacola in record timing, and everything was great. And then uh, at the Pensacola, I started heading up into Alabama, and uh, I looked down. I'm, I'm like, wait a minute, why is why is my right wheel wobbling? And I said, you know, come on, do we break spokes already? And I stopped, and yes, we had 10, 10 broken spokes. Dude, that is a lot of broken spokes. Like over, like overnight, like like all, all of a sudden, we had ten broken spokes. You, you didn't have a saboteur, did you? Mm-hmm. No, I. Well, I mean, maybe, but I don't think so. 
But um, but but yeah, ten, and they're all on the. Oh, okay, so you picture you picture uh, the right wheel on the axle. All ten spokes were on the inside. Okay. On yeah. the inside, like on like closest to the mechanics of the bike, right? Right. And all the all the spokes on the outside were were intact, and it was almost every other spoke. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? That's quite. I mean, that's the drive, oh, probably the drive the, side on that bike. So it's getting some torque over there, mm-hmm. and you got to have well, spokes I mean, on both sides. You do. And you remember, Heather, Heather had. Heather had right right rim issues all the way down to Tampa Bay, Florida, and then all the way back back up to Minnesota. And don't get me wrong; Heather had her right wheel issues. She did. So I was like, okay. I call Schwinn. I send him pictures. I do this and do that. So I they say, well, where would you like the rim sent? I said, well. The closest bike shop is in Montgomery, so I called this bike guy. His name is Jeff, and he runs a little bike shop right uh, right in the middle of a of a coffee shop slash bar slash co op. It's just, it's like a everything. It's like it's a community center. Cool, for God's sake. And his little bike shop right there. And I and I said, Hey, do you mind if I get my room sent to you? <laughs> and uh, and he said, Yeah, but how how the hell are you going to make it? A hundred miles on a rim that's already missing ten spokes. By the time you get here, you're going to be missing more than that. I said, "Well, I got no other choice." <laughs> so you're so, going to make it work. I got nowhere else to go. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, I could I could have gone back to Pensacola, but that's not if you if you've been paying attention. For the past five years, I don't go back. Uh-uh. <laughs> True that. I don't go back. But but okay, so so let's let's talk about this then. Go. Oh. We I I was okay. I already had the broken wheel, and here we are, and we got we got the bike shop. We got Schwinn. Schwinn already sent the replacement. You know, I got the FedEx tracking number and all that. It's all good, except for I got a hundred miles to go. I get to Evergreen, uh, Evergreen, Alabama, and I know there's some weather coming. I don't know how much weather is coming, but it's okay. I get, I get, in, you know, a Heidi Ho. I got, I get in um, a nice place uh, where, you know, where it's. I mean, we might get spritzed with rain. We might get a little wet, but we're not going to get hurt, right? Mm-hmm. 30 miles north uh, in Georgiana, the birthplace of Hank Williams Sr., by the way. Right on. Is that Georgiana, Alabama? Um, they, had, they had quite the tornado that night, and I did not know about that because I don't wake up and listen to the South Alabama news. You, you know... You didn't hear um, a freight train in your area? No, no. In my area, it was a little windy, and it was some, there was some lightning. It was a good light show. It was a nice storm. I, I, I love a storm. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I had no idea that a little tornado, a very small, it was about an F1, maybe F2. No shit. Huh. Rolled through Georgiana and knocked out all their power and tons of trees down. I didn't see any structural damage. I didn't see any any, any homes like damaged, but like there's trees down everywhere. So guess who had to pick up Izzy and get her over some down trees to oh, get no. to where I was going? No, 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 that stinks. And yeah. then the power is out when I get to the town, so I can't charge my phone. And the subway that I, uh, I I had a gift card for subway. I'm like, oh man, I can't wait to get the subway. Oh, they're closed because there's no power. <laughs> um, so I was in like Tornado Ravage, Georgiana, uh, Alabama, and uh, then 
I, I went I went to the intersection uh sixty five of uh, I sixty five and I went you know to the gas station right and the power was out the, the stop lights were out street lights were out it was just absolutely dark you could see all the stars it's like after Hurricane Katrina you can see you just see all the stars because all the lights were out right mm-hmm. right <laughs> so as soon as I and I laid out my camp. And I thought, okay, I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to breathe. I'm going to do my breathing exercises because I can't watch the Simpsons. <laughs> no power, no Simpsons, yeah. Internet or anything like that. It's all, the power's out. And then as soon as I was about to fall asleep, papa, the power came back on and it was noisy as fuck and it woke me up. I was like, ah! So then are they going to come and open up the gas station? No, they did not. So I was sitting there, just sitting there wide awake all night long, waiting for them to open up the gas station. And we're sitting here with, with 10, 10 missing folks and counting. <laughs> and I'm like, Oh man, I got to get the, I got to get the Montgomery. I got to get the Montgomery. And so we'll skip a little bit. Um, but I got a ride, I got a ride, uh, about, to about eight miles from the bike shop and then I had to walk the eight miles and I, I walked the eight miles. I got there today and we got a brand new wheel on Izzy and she's ready to go. But here we are north of Montgomery, Alabama, which is the 34th state capital, by the way. Oh, you, you hadn't been there before. Is that correct? No, I hadn't. Wow, awesome! So, so I'm I'm looking I'm Izzy, looking at is Izzy. I, I was just gonna say I'm I'm, I'm, I'm looking at your buddy uh, where Jeff works, Capital City Bicycle Repair and Service. Five yep. stars. It's five stars That's on Jeff. the old uh, on the old whatever. That looks like a Google thing or some Dude, such. I I didn't I didn't see I didn't see a rating that wasn't five stars for him. Awesome. He, he but he he took he took really good care of me. I thought you were going to say when all the lights were out and whatever that you were just going to like, oh, man, I'm about to go to sleep. And I looked in the air, I looked in the sky, and I saw, you know, the nor- the aurora borealis. And the, the northern damn- lights. That's, yeah. that's, been our, that's been the big talk up but here. it's in, northern. In, I thought about that. In our area. Yeah, it's, they're, wait, he's but way, the lights yeah, are out. He's, way south. <laughs> it, wait, he's not in the corona. We had, we had northern lights and rainbows. I'll tell you what, though. <laughs> I, yeah, double look, rainbow. I had, I had to carry I had to carry Izzy over. I had to, uh, just like Heather, um, back in 2019, I had, I had to go over some down trees and it was, it was not pleasant. And I'm surprised that I didn't fuck up with anything else. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad that, uh, on you, her, you, but she seems to be work. She seems to be rolling just fine. So did, did Schwinn send you just basically the same wheel that you just destroyed? I'm Only sorry, in, yeah, yeah. Did Schwinn just send you the same wheel that you just destroyed basically? Is it like a the, exactly the same wheel? Oh God, I'm so sorry. I didn't hear you. <laughs> uh, just asking about the wheel that Schwinn sent. Is it just the same wheel that you already had, only not with broken spokes in it? Right. No. 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 It it, it was nice and tight. We both me and Jeff. We looked at it. We we, we squeezed the spokes. It's like that should be okay. I'm like, all right, cool. But yeah. remember with Heather. With Heather back in 2019, it was just shredding spokes after like 200 miles. It was like all of a sudden, like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I mean, those things are built in a factory with a machine, not with a yeah. human, so they, they may not be tensioned properly. That's why I said, you know, have at least Jeff look at it, and if he can, you know, make sure that they're at least evenly tensioned, you should have a fighting chance of this being something well, that will last. Right. But guess guess who doesn't have a spoke wrench anymore because they got it robbed from him in New Orleans. Anyway, oh, you know what? You should become a yeah. wheel builder at least because you got you could have a lot of experience with uh, how to make a wheel that lasts because it's always the right side, at least most often, and that's because that's where the torque is going when you're riding. Right. 
because you're putting the power down and it's going through that one wheel. It doesn't go through both wheels on the back. The or if you lean more on your left yeah. butt cheek. But yeah, which with the crown of the road and you're already kind of leaning to the right anyway, there's a lot of stress on the wheels. So, um, is, there, is there a reason that they just didn't make both wheels the drive wheels? Like, can't you make them both drivers? Well, then you would, you, then you'd have it, it, yeah you'd have to have some kind of differential then th- which would add weight and complexity because when you turn to the right say I'd say or when you turn to the left actually might be your big problem is the one wheel will go faster than the other wheel because it's doing a bigger arc than the inside wheel so if it was locked together it wouldn't it would not work well. So it needs to be independently at, driven, and the other one's kind of along for the ride. <coughs> Side car. But at, at my at my top speed, I don't think that it would be that big a deal. Yeah, maybe in your case it wouldn't. That'd be interesting. I think at some point we'll have to figure out just how to build a a, a well built wheel with good spokes, good hub, good rim. Pretty much should be bulletproof. I just, you know, you we're working with stuff that was made overseas and probably not QC'd that well, great and blah, blah, blah. Well, I'll tell, I'll tell you what. In, in, in 2019, uh, I had my wheel, I had my rim replaced in Battle Creek, Michigan, and then in uh, somewhere in Pennsylvania, uh, or, uh, uh, well, uh, Milton, Milton, Milford, Milford, Mil, Millen, Millen, somewhere there was a Put the needle on the record there <laughs> in Ohio, and then um, I had it replaced in Pennsylvania, and then I had the whole rear rear frame replaced in Bangor, Maine, and then I had a, 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 a the rim replaced in Raleigh, North Carolina, and then I had the rim replaced in Tampa, Florida. I mean, it, it, they kept on replacing it. And oh. because they they couldn't figure out why it wouldn't stand up, and it, and uh, I don't, I'm afraid, I'm afraid we're going to be doing the same shit here. Well, I will. I, I'm working on a solution for this, and I want to see if I'm I'm correct in assuming that on a bike that doesn't, you know, cost eight thousand bucks, you're getting wheels that are not, you know, they got to cut costs somewhere. And that bike, honestly, you're the only guy in the history of riding a Schwinn Meridian. That has probably put more than 500 miles right. on stuff. said Schwinn Meridian. So what they ought to be doing, if they right. want to make the bike good, is getting your feedback and saying, "I've ridden, I rode, I rode Heather, how many miles? 28,000, 25,000 miles. You yeah. know, exactly. Here, here, exactly. here's what we, here's what we learned about that problem. <laughs> you know and, what I'm saying? And, but, and then and then I I send them an email with a heartfelt poem and or a help, heartfelt story and i get no response at all i i do appreciate you sending that i have st- i it's a novel we got this needs parsing yeah, well you gotta it, no- knock it to other people too. yeah i definitely I mean i work in a in an environment where i'll get a shitload of emails and i may not really some of them get shelved some of them just get lost and whatever and well, just uh, hammer away well, just throw, yeah. throw it back at them or throw it back to somebody else throw them to everyone <laughs> Start from the top and drop down. I'll tell you what. There's a day, there's an what. art to. You should see his yes. heartfelt letter. There, there's a lot of words here because they're very small. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at it right now. From the beginning, it was definitely a learning yeah. process. I probably ran over my own foot and scuffed my ankles a hundred times before I got the hang of three wheels. I mean, <laughs> this is poetry, bro. We got to, you know, this thing needs to be seen. Yeah, well, but Heather, Heather did all this. I had my I, I did my thirty fourth state capitol building today in Montgomery, Alabama. And Izzy is Izzy is not Heather. I'm like, ah I this guy's like, How you doing? I'm like, if I had Heather, I'd be like, This is her thirty fourth state capitol building. But nope, this is her first state capitol building. I'm like, eh. Uh, prima nocta. Uh, but it's at least your uh, personal thirty uh, fourth, so yeah. Is it, but yeah, me, me personally, I've been in 34 on a tricycle, but, but I didn't have Heather with me and it, it, it felt terrible. I was like, why well, can't Heather be here? And well, because she's, she's done. <laughs> oh, well, that's, know, that's, a, that's a, that's a, that's a story so, for the ages. 
Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, um, this this bitch right here is uh, is I mean already already starting with me, but that's okay. I mean, you know, I, I mean Heather did that too when I first started out with her, and it was like, I mean, I could have put the basket from Heather on it, this one, and but that's Heather's that's Heather's stuff. That's Heather's. Uh, keychains and all that. That's her stuff. That's, I can't take that away and, I, I, and, and say, oh, wow, look at me. Uh, you know, I got to start over. Yep. It's like a new relationship. Yeah. All right, BS. Thanks for calling in. Uh, anything you want to leave us with before we wrap this up? You did a great job of uh, um, teching us up on this last 15 minutes of the show. I'll tell you what, uh, just if you can, if you can get my Venmo up, Jason dash Becker dash 60. If you can, because I'm in Alabama and I'm going to be in, uh, Southern Tennessee. I'm going to be in Northern Tennessee. The donations, um, are not necessarily good around here. And I could use a couple of bucks. And I promise you, I won't send it all on booze. <laughs> well, then, I, on booze. then I'm all. not sending you any money at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so is that Venmo? Or is that PayPal? Yeah, the Ven- Venmo is pretty much my, 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 basic, uh, my basic bank account right, right now. On. Is Venmo. Yeah, I put it, I put it, I put it in every show. Dash. So. Say it again. No, I really appreciate it. Are you going to make it your way to but, you Greenbow, know, Alabama? I, I I went through bio the battery on my way huh? into um. I went uh, I went through um uh bio the battery where Bubba was from. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 You um, can do it. On my on my way to on my way to Pensacola. Shrimp and, is yeah, the fruit of bio the sea. Bio the is just... <laughs> That's awesome. All right, man. Thanks for checking in. I'm glad you got the wheel situation at least uh, temporarily fixed. And uh, keep up yeah, with oh, us. No, yeah. It, here, here, here's my here's my chance. North, 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 north. What do we want? North. When do we want it? North. <laughs> Where are we getting it? North, 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 north. Get fucking north. <laughs> God damn, I'm sick of the south. <laughs> You're All right, right. Oh, man. So sick Look. of the south and they're half ass shit. Take take a picture when you cross the Mason Dixon line and you'd be all like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, run for us, run. Oh, I, 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 I'm I about to cross the Mason Dixon line and that, that does not get you out of the, that does not get you out of the fucking, it doesn't get you out of the, out of the thick. No, I feel you. You're you're not out of the south till you passed uh, Central Indiana, probably. But uh, sure, sure. Anyway, all right, man. Well, I mean, we're gonna let you go, and we're gonna finish this I'm thing up. The, uh, yeah, do, do you do you think, uh, Sven? Do you think y'all? Hey, look, I'm on my way. I'll be in Milwaukee in no time flat. I'll see you soon. <laughs> all right, man. Have a good one. Thanks for calling in. Bye. Right, see Big sexy everybody. Well. I, I, I was just like you. Shrimp I, is the fruit of the sea. You can boil it, broil it, saute it. For <laughs> is that Bubba Gump shrimp right Yeah. There? There's yeah, no well, Bubba Gump shrimp down there. Bio the battery that he went through. That's where Bubba's from. So, I, just like you, I thought he was going to seriously say that he saw the Northern Lights mm-hmm. all the way down there. Mm-hmm. I was just waiting for it because it's been... No, oh, it was a total... Nobody's to talked or, or shown anything on the book face except for Northern Lights photos. And... <clears throat> I mean to be fair. Oh, we're I not. Not even try we're, we're not as I looked, but we're in the city, and I think the night that I looked, you if you were out in the in the boonies where there was no light, sure. you would have seen the green something, yeah, or a echo which was the day after the really big thing. Mm-hmm. Dave, I was going to wake up really. You saw like, Dave. You saw Dave yeah. Slabowski's <laughs> stuff. Oh shit! Yeah, and I'm like, and. That's all I need. Well, he that's lived, all I need. He goes to a road called Northern yeah, Lights Road. Exactly. What are you going to see on that road? Ta-da. Say it with me, Northern Lights. <laughs> uh, I saw them in Milwaukee unexpectedly once many years ago. I was living where we were at the house we're at now, so it was within the last twenty-five years. 
But uh, I came home, and it wasn't that late, 11.30 maybe. And I'm in the driveway walking, you know, down. So I'm going to look over north because that's way to my front door. Green glows all across the sky. I go, and I'm like, yeah, everybody get up out of bed. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Definitely some. I- That's cool. Yeah, I have no. I mean, the closest thing I've had to that was in Virginia Beach, witnessing the moonrise off the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, which is Ooh. very odd because it's at ten o'clock at night ish. You know, it's. It, you think the moon's already up and out and around or whatever. I don't the, know. I'm not really thinking about it. sometimes. I don't know. But <laughs> we were it's a fucking moon over there. Well, yeah, and Kim looks over, and she's like, what the hell is that over there? And you just see the beginning. It, I mean, because it is like a it's sunrise. An, but an a alien moonrise. spacecraft. Well, yeah, we were, yeah. Yes. Were there you were, there, were you there, mushroom tripping? Yeah, <laughs> there was. Yeah, there were accelerants in the, in the body coursing uh, through, so uh, the mind was going everywhere, going like, what is that? What is it? Is that a... Wait, I know what that is. And I'm like, is that a star? What is it? Is that a is that a boat on fire? <laughs> Wait, that's an alien. I bet that's an alien. Do you know what that is? I know what that and is. And then it was a fucking moon. <laughs> <laughs> that was a moon, not a space station. I wanted it to be a space station. It was, a space station. It was right there. Oh, it All right. itself so well, though. Well, fortunately, we have a lot of other stuff to talk about next week, but we're going to have to do it next week. That's... My understanding is that Tony Berger will be back next week. I'm sure he'll have to tell us about what happened uh, today and why his absence is duly noted. <laughs> and it wasn't even for social distortion and bad religion show. Oh, $75. You got to be <laughs> shitting me. Dude, I'll just go to setlist.fm, see what they played, and then yeah. play, play it on your local streaming platforms or whatever. In your own collections, if you have yes. such things. I feel you. Go there first, and then go to the street. I've got my Muse Life is Beautiful set list, just like they played. Sure, yeah. And it's I mean, actually yeah, yeah, yeah. awesome. All and, right. And today, today, or I mean yesterday, I'm considering going Southern Culture and the Skids. Oh, is that yesterday, tomorrow? That's yesterday, tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow? Yeah, with the exotics opening. To yesterday? At, at, at the Vivarium. And I haven't been there oh, yet. And no, I mean, I it could be a good cherry breaker. I do like Southern Culture on the Skids, too. Yeah. All right, so well, that's a possibility yesterday. All right, everybody. Had a great time maybe yesterday. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be there next week whether you want us to or not. 